Welcome back folks for my 9.10 recommended mods XVM settings video for the tanks. I know it's been like two weeks since the patch was released so I've been busy and lazy and stuff happened so I apologize but if you already have mods I have a very good gameplay with the Panther M10 so stay tuned but as always I'll demonstrate what my mods look like and sound like before I show you where you can find these mods and how to install them. So here is the garage. It features a lot more stuff than the normal default. You have your ping on the top left. This is very useful for beating up your family members for stealing the internet. Here is the amount of players on different server next to you. Here you can see the lock buttons for your gold and free XP to prevent you from accidentally using them. Very useful. Here is the clock. On the tank panel, you can see there is an automatic return crew. This is very useful for premium tanks because they don't need their own crew. So click it and you can have the last crew you use on this vehicle, which is the Panther 2 for me on the Panther M10. So very useful button for not clicking all the crew members onto this vehicle. So all you have to do is yeah, you have to click different crew members. That takes a long time. So click this button. Ta-da! You can drop all your crew. You can also send one crew to the barracks. Very handy. Here you can see with XVM, it gives you the actual view range and actual gun reload time and signal range based on your crew skills, your equipments, and your consumables. So very handy. Now here is the tank carousel. It has a lot more features than the normal one. So you can see there's a lot more info for different tanks, such as the battle tier. Some tanks have premium matchmaking or preferential matchmaking. So basically for the Panther M10, this tank can only see up to tier 8, not tier 9 for a tier 7 vehicle. So this is very useful and helps preventing you from troll platoons. All right, so very useful. Your win percent chance with this vehicle, number of battles fought, and average damage with this vehicle. Your mastery badge, your marks of excellence, and that's all the info for different tanks. You have different filters for the carousel right here, such as different nations, standard, different types, standard. And here is the different tiers. So you can choose like tier five or tier five and tier eight, very handy. So very nice. You also have the special tanks, such as the premium tanks, the premium tanks with multiple XP or no mastery badge. So very handy filters for you. And that's pretty much all the garage or features other than the service record. So if you like XVM and all the other stuff, click on vehicles in the service record tab and you can see your XVM rating and stats, quote unquote. So you can sort everything based on your efficiency rating right here. And you can see which tank you do pretty good in and which tank you suck. So you can play the tank you seal club and get better XP or get better efficiency rating if you care for it. But that's pretty much it for the garage. Now let's have a very good gameplay to show you with the Panther M10. So here you can see the loading screen with the different stats and win percent chance. Now, spoiler alert, I carried the game. So yeah, 69% chance to win is nothing. So here you can see all the stats and the different heads up display with the mods. So here you can see the advanced mini map right here on the bottom. Now, if you press control, the left control key, you bring up the mini map. So here is the blue circle, which is your view range, actual view range of the tank. The yellow circle is the maximum view range for your tank. So that's where other people could see you if you have very good view range for their vehicles. The red square is the draw distance. So you can hear the different sounds for the engine as well as the gun. I have a different crosshair for the gun sights as well.
so you can hear the different destruction sound. This destruction sound is a little bit amplified, so it makes it sound a little bit better than the normal cricket sound of the fence posts falling or tree falling, so a little bit better. Here you can see the different gun sight. Here you can hear the different gun sounds when I try to shoot the gun and miss horribly. But yeah, the Panther M10 is alright of a tier 7 tank. It's like a stocked Panther. Yeah, so it's decent enough, I guess. But basically, we have nobody on this flank, so I took my time and camped a little bit. This tank does not have a very big alpha, so don't go YOLO with it. And it's a very big vehicle, so not a good camouflage rating, but everybody's going, so let's go, 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 go. We have a Cromwell that's coming towards us. Two Cromwells. The Cromwells are about to flank, so. So shoot. Shoot the other Cromwell, who's flanking. Nice, clean up. So yeah, these mods are very good. Makes the game more enjoyable, immersive. At this moment, I'm telling my platoon mates to circle around and go defend the base, but they want to YOLO, so... crap. <laughs> oh well. So I tried to defend the base a little bit, but they spotted an SU-12244 and went to go engage, so it's like, crap, let's go help out. Oh boy. There's a Chafee shooting at him. Oh. Engine took a very big hit. But I have a repair pack. And he's gone. So yeah. These mods are very good in my opinion. And it helps a lot if you're new to the game, so it gives you more information to understand, but yeah. Now what sucks is Craig's Trebler did not update his turret traverse sounds, so there's no turret traverse rotation noise, so that kind of sucks, but now mods are in constant development, so they might get updated later on, so just wait. You can see a different six cents icon. So you can hear a different hit sound with your tank getting shot at. You can also see the different hits log on top right here. You can see the different last spotted position of your enemies. If you press Alt, you can see the last health reported by your teammates. The 
Panther M10 is alright of a medium tank. It's a stock Panther. The only reason they took off or took down this vehicle from the gift shop is because nobody likes it or not that popular enough to be sold. So they took off or they crossed off this vehicle from the gift shop. So it's four versus six right now. Should be like one versus four in a second. But you'll see. There you go. Three versus six. Okay. Three versus five. They're capping. This tank has no armor unless you shoot the mantlet unless you shoot the mantlet but the mantlet is not that strong either so you'll see what happens but it's hilarious there's a t25 the Skruda t25 I got spotted So no gun depression for this vehicle, or not that good of a gun depression. So going haul down is slightly risky, <laughs> or not effective. There's a SU-85, I missed. He did not spot me, <laughs> that's good. Oh, OI? Oh, uh oh. Hellcat is done for. There are two tanks camping or camping at the base circle. Oh, oh, no gun depression. <laughs> Bounced. Bounced again. The cheeks. Bounced again. Matt lit. Oh. Now the Hellcat died. My teammate Thunder is about to die. Try to shoot off the rear end engine deck. Didn't go so well. So one versus four. Here we go. I have half or 60% health. About to get flanked. About to get flanked. Back off. Back off. Back off. Back off. Oh. Oh, bounced. Oh, 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 oh. Ow. Get rid of him. Matlet. Cupola. Didn't work. Now, that was a gold shell based on the silver splash of the shell. But it's very useful. And there you go. That's the gameplay. So you can see the hits on top. You can also see the different mods in work. But let's show you how to install all these mods. And here's how to install all the mods I've been using for the tanks. Now for warning, this video is pertaining to the tanks patch 9.10. It's not going to work with patch 9.9, 9.11, 9.12, and so on and so forth. So if you're watching this video from the future, it's probably not going to work. So be warned of that. Second, make sure you have a backup copy of the files you're modifying. The most important file from this video is the res folder's audio folder. So go to res from World of Tanks main directory and copy this audio folder and have a backup of it. So here is my backup on the desktop. Now let's download the mods. The most important mod you need is Aslan's XVM mod pack. And what this do is 
combines everything into one so you don't have to visit different websites for different mods and place it separately this mod combines everything into one big mod pack very useful very handy and convenient so go to aslons.com or aslon.com click on download the important info click on this button right here and click on download of this XVM mod pack so download and you should have it right here so open this up and here it is now click next introduction next so the changes boobs okay <laughs> so different changes yada yada or the tanks directory and here are all the options now I'll go through each separately to tell you what they're corresponding to or what they're different display as so here we go show description now check for Aslan's mod pack updates very important the different color schemes if you're colorblind so different colors but yeah all right vehicle contour icons that's the small icons for different vehicles you can have it different based on different stuff like special colors yada yada small stuff but i think it's a little bit convoluted so i don't need it the regular default icons are simple enough so just choose the water tanks original icons that should be fine here are over the target markers which are mascara for the text so you can take a look but shadows and highlights and mascara for your tanks and text S yeah too much you don't really need it and these are convoluted and might slow down your computer so i have it all off you don't need it uncheck everything all right other xvm settings the player panels with xvm stats so right here I have the simple battle loading screen with the stats right here same goes for the statistics tab and the player panel with the large pp so player panel blah, player panel right here background transparency is the def default now what this is the asterisk for enemy, enemy spotted markers this shows you that the current tank on the mini map is displayed with the asterisk so if there are different versions or different players with the same tanks you can tell which tanks are shown up on the by the asterisk very handy display squad icons yeah okay large panel for more stats medium panel for medium stuff Def default you don't need that much stuff all right xvm mini map you want to have the turquoise line for your gun that's very handy for shooting outside of the draw distance so if stuff doesn't appear on your map but you can line up a shot outside of your draw distance that's a cheeky shot i usually do that sometimes so that's very handy gun traverse lines which is very useful for fixed mounted guns like tank destroyers or artillery this is the maximum detection circle or view range circle the 500 meter draw distance square that's where stuff appears on your mini map dynamic view range that's your actual view range right here you don't need these these are pretty much the same as the normal view range so pretty much the same show icons for destroy tanks yep very important such as um, if stuff are blocking the middle road on Lakeville so that's very good better visible coordinates for your mini map labels show full vehicle name left Qatar <laughs> for your bigger mini map zoom very handy pick up okay just Simpson joke okay alternate mini map when you press the alt so show different tiers and the health on top you want to have the default XVM hit log that's showing you how much damage you're doing very good for keeping track for personal missions 
number of lines, five for me, but that's the lines on top. Show HP log. So this shows you the last reported or responded HP by your teammates. So it's not always correct. This is not like how much current health you can see without actually spotting the enemies. So it's the last reported HP. All right. Show server ping, show server info. Yep. The XVM scale. So that's your player efficiency rating. Six colors, yada yada. Different icons for six cents. I'll show you how to make your own personalized six cents icon. But default is yellow sign. There's a lot of them. And different sounds to play for a sound alert for six cents. Six cents. Right, price button for the tech tree, mastery badge for the tech tree, gold locker, free XP locker, default currency from gold to credits, very good, clock, handy, carousel rolls, uh, you can have a lot, like five rolls of tank, I have one roll, so one roll is fine, scale is pretty much the default, you can choose the default, Number of info for the different tanks. You can have a lot of info like, holy crap, when they expected tank damage. Wow, that's too much info. Just choose like this one, the first one with decent amount. All right, tank frames, highlighter. You can have, well, different colors. <laughs> that's cool. All right, zoom mods. So I use the 30X right here. You can have like, 48x and uh, 60x but make sure you're on the EU server not the North American or Asian servers so all right zoom out mod to zoom out and see around the corner 500 meters away very good for artillery players to derp a shell or camping behind a corner sensitivity on the zoom don't really need it yada yada Disable gun shake uh, that takes away the immersion of the tank. So nope, nope, nope. Uncheck everything. Now most of these stuff are different edits, and you don't really need them. So yeah, a lot of stuff will slow down your computer, and that's not good. Drop your frame rate. So uncheck all these for me. I don't need them. Uncheck, uncheck, uncheck. Crosshair is the classic hard scope crosshair right here uncheck all these crosshairs you want to have the battle assistant artillery thing so this is the predator missile for shooting downwards at an angle into a tank I think this debuted like almost a year ago it's very good for artillery players but very nice info panel about targeted vehicles uh, if you're new to the game and if you have a very good computer, this might be useful, but I don't need it. I remember everything in the brain, so don't need it. Gun constraints are useful for tank destroyers, so you can see how much your gun could turn, but don't need it for me. Nope. Artillery sight on the mini map. What the hell is this thing? Oh. Yeah, don't need it. Blah. Different special icons are lagging or will lag your com uh, computer and stuff. So don't need it. Don't need all these. Nope, nope, nope. Custom shell, consume. Ah, don't need it. Different pictures. You see different pictures. Ah, don't need it. Uncheck. Mini map or multiple hit log. So what this does is tell you how much damage. What the? What's the difference? Don't need it, too much stuff. Don't need it, don't need it. Damage panel. So this is the, oh, this is when other people damage you. So I think it's a little bit cheating because they tell you who hits you. Yeah, you should high player name. Yeah, you can have it by showing you how much damage you took, but you have your own health to tell you that, right? So don't, I don't need it, too much convoluted stuff. If you check everything, your whole screen will become text and you'll be like reading the matrix and that's not good. So uncheck everything. Don't need it. Don't need it. 
Oh, here's the important one. So this is for the gold shells. If you get hit by APCR, it's splash silver. If you get hit by heat shell, it's splash gold. Very useful. I have it. Don't need the rest of these. Disable clouds. Nope, nope, nope. Mm -mm. Don't need it. Don't need it. Don't need it. Don't need it. All these will slow down your computer. So these are special stuff. I mean, if you want to have them, go right ahead. But I'm just telling you, the more stuff you have, the slower your computer will be. Unless you have a very good computer. So, yeah, just don't need it. Throw those out the window. All right, garage mods. So you want to have the hangar manager. If you press the up, down, left, right keys, you can change your garage from a premium one to a standard one to a fancier one, like special events for Independence Day or you know Christmas stuff like that. Very handy. Don't need it. Don't need it. Don't need it. Don't need it. All right, sound mods, the important stuff. Now you can install Craig's Triplers and Gnome Father's gun sounds and engine sounds with this mod pack, but sometimes it does not work for some unknown reason. So I tried it before. Some versions of Aslan's mod pack does work, some doesn't. But the most reliable way of adding sound mods into your game is go directly towards their website and install it from there. I'll show you how to do it, but. The ones that's kind of important is the hit sounds. That's very nice. And where is the up sound? Right here. The destroy object sounds and the up sound with the gun reloads. So check these two. And the rest is not needed. So uncheck everything and click next. Now, if you already have mods, click on normal install. If you do not have mods, or if you want to clean up everything, click on clean install. All right. So click next to install. That's pretty much it for Aslan's mod pack. And that's the whole big or the majority of the mods you should need. Now for the engine and gun sounds. So go to Craig's Triplers or Gnome Father's websites and download the mods from them. So basically I was using Gnome Father's engine and gun sounds so go to this website right here gnomefather.blogspot.com download the engine sounds and gun sounds right here so you should have two files from them so let's use the engine first so you should have this file this archive file and right click and extract here and they gave you or he gives you an installation script since nobody reads them but back up the audio folder like I said now extract the res and res mod folder from the water tanks into the water tanks folder so open up these two already did crap <laughs> I'll extract here again yes to all okay so once you do that and extract everything you have these two folders copy these two and place it into your water tanks folder right here all right that's the first step same goes for the gun sounds so extract here yep 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 all right now copy these two folders and place it into water tanks folder all right that's the first step next he tells you overwriting once we're done blah 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 you should do that already, but there's a hidden step that he does not tell you. And if you already do all of these, it does not work. All right. There's a hidden step. So once you do all the stuff I just mentioned like a second ago, go to res, copy this audio folder. All right. Copy this audio folder and paste it into your 0.9.10 and this photo right here. Just paste the audio from res into res mod. That's very important. For some reason, it does not work with only res folder having the audio folder. So I figured this out by myself. You have to copy the audio folder from res and paste it into res mod. That's very important. So once you do all of those, it's pretty much done for all the mods. Then there are small tweaks such as the crosshairs, the six cents icon. But let's take a look at the crosshair. So go to 0.9.10. Go to GUI, 
go to scale form and here is the hard scope setting you want to have this edit with notepad plus plus so you have to change the shadow so go look for shadow and you have to change this value from 0 to 100 all right that's very important but it gives you this black silhouette around your gun sights or periscope which is immersion right so if you don't have notepad plus plus i will give you this file so replace the original hard scope setting dot xml file in your folder with my version all right if you don't have notepad plus plus but this is also very important next up is the sixth sense icon so go to where the hell is it there it is go to mods go to share resources from the res folder xvm res and this is the sixth sense icon so choose any other picture you want such as i don't know S selena gomez <laughs> as always you want to have a png file of it and there you go take the selena gomez been using this picture like a billion times since the rest of other mods so save this image as sixth sense and copy or drag and drop selena gomez into this folder and she will become your sixth sense icon very simple right now on to the vehicle skin mods so go back to res mods go to 9.10 and you can see a vehicles folder so this is where you place all your skin mods so basically you can download skin mods from across google or any other websites so let's look at for example is8 skin small stuff all right so there you go is8 skin for 0.9.10 yada yada oh this look pretty nice download it and place it into russian folder and here is the is8 so that's how you put skin mods into the game it's not that hard you don't have to upload check stuff no just place a file into the res mod folder place the skin and that's pretty much it now remember any tank with the hd model does not have or does not work with the older skins so any tanks with hd model cannot have their skins modified all right that sucks also some tanks will have a different buggy issue with the older skin like if you have a chieftain skin for the fv4202 it might not work with the missing gun barrel so some skins will work some skins won't work so you have to test and trials with it but i'll provide you with all the skins i have just in case and the final step in modifying world of tanks is activating xvm so go to modxvm.com and log in with your world of tanks info don't worry these two websites are tied together so you will not lose your info and stuff all right so once you log in activate your services or stats update your stats just click these two buttons and you should be good now click on settings and you can turn on the chance to win during the battle right here and my scale or rating scale is win eight but if you want to copy yourself or compare yourself with jingles or quickie baby they use eff all right the last time i checked which was a year ago so that's the rating scale but that's how you turn on xvm all right before you start playing with the game and if you already installed the xvm stuff but you did not turn on xvm you will not have the stats and you might drive yourself crazy it's like where's the stuff i just installed it but you had to turn it on so that's very important and there you go folks all the stuff i do to modify the game to make it more enjoyable because having a tank that sounds like a lawnmower or moped is not that fun right so if you don't want to have the xvm just uncheck the xvm but still install the other stuff like the sound mods the crosshairs and other stuff but i highly recommend it because it's more enjoyable right so all good stuff now i apologize for this video being like two weeks late because i was busy and lazy and stuff so i apologize but thank you guys for watching this video hope you guys enjoy it 
I'll see you guys next time. Peace.